16 teams remain. Salzburg hosts this one as the Vecqua Lakers come to town. The Ice Arena Salzburg is the site of this matchup. Going into this game, on paper, most people would think the Swedish side, the Vecqua Lakers, have the upper hand. Salzburg, however, not willing to give in to that pressure. Starting in net for Salzburg, Luka Gratschnar, his counterpart for the Vecqua Lakers, Viktor Andrein. And those two forwards are the ones that need to get some points on the board in this game to give their teams a chance of advancing to the next round. Again, two games to play, this one and the next, to determine who moves on, but Salzburg are the ones that get off to the quicker start. Two minutes and four seconds into the game, Michael Schichel gets the goal from Peter Hofkoffler and Alexander Sia. Well, it didn't take Salzburg all too much longer to find themselves a second one. What a shot from Alexander Palestra. That looked like it was wired to the top shelf. Alexander Sian gets another assist, but it is all about that shot sneaking under the bar and over the shoulder. On to the second period, Salzburg advancing some more, looking for the third and unable to find it there. Victor Andrean got just enough of it to zip past the post, and it didn't take much for that one to have been 3-0. Still in the second dying moments, getting another crack at it out in front, and unable to capitalize on this opportunity once again. Salzburg on the doorstep, but they're unable to capitalize. Well, the Lakers were hard fought and hard pressed to find at least one goal throughout the game. It took everything they had to try and beat a tough netminder on the evening. Gratchnar coming up with a couple of saves here in close. Second period still searching for that goal to cut into the lead, and the Lakers finally find it. It took a real break in the ice for the Vecco Lakers to find that goal. One goal down now, Linus Froberg capitalizing on the chance all alone out in front. Raffle lost his man and the puck to boot. That one ends up in the back of the twine. 2-1 the score, heading into the third. The third period was tightly contested. Vecco did what they could to try and cut into that deficit. Launch pucks on target and they held that category firmly. 43 to 19 in shots through the game. They can't believe it. Red Bull Salzburg win this one at home, two to one. 